bats it away. Now in front score, Mark Oogie got it from John Ball, and Chicago's up early, 2 nothing. Well, it was a little mix up there in the defense, and Uji was right where the strike is supposed to be, right in the middle of the mixer, as you refer to it, Al, and uh, was just on hand to toe poke that one home. Goal for Detroit. Well, hopefully, killing off that penalty will give him a bit of a lift. And now Detroit has too many men on the field. And that's another blue card. As Mickey Gerisolo is at midfield with a blank look on his face, and he says, one, two, three, four, five, I'm six. So, Detroit, another. Player will go to the sin bin here for too many men on the field. Well, this is an ugly start. Ugly start. You hate to see a mistake like that. So Chicago another can't get much closer than that. Armstrong again pulled from behind by Callahan and scores anyway. And there it is, the Chicago Storm record for most goals in a season, the 30th of the year for Stephen Armstrong, the team's leading scorer, strong candidate for MISL Rookie of the Year, and now Chicago is in the lead four to nothing on the Armstrong power play goal. Well, See the so team is... foul situation, minor foul wise, Chicago more than Detroit, but Detroit's committed three two minute penalties. Here's the last one, a two minute trip in the box by Bill Sedgwick, so now a penalty kick will be coming up for Chicago. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the call, it's quite correct. So that whole uh, five point deficit could get erased right now by Chicago. Mark Oogie two for two on penalty kicks this year, Chicago as a team two for three. Mark Oogie takes it for a 6-0 lead. Score it. 6-0 Chicago. As they have come out here, not just wanting to beat Detroit, but wanting to beat them by more than five. If they if this score would hold up right now, a six-point margin, Chicago then, if they won next week against Milwaukee, would be the first-place team in the MISL. 25th well, the goal of the year for Oogie. What a turnaround that would be for a team that was in fifth place and looked like they weren't going to make the playoffs about a month ago. But this is early days in indoor soccer. If this was outdoor soccer, we could all uh, go home. But this is indoors. And Let's play to take the ball. Callahan couldn't get around Savage. He gets it to ball. Two on two here. Fabinho, great save, Sonaldo. Beasley down. Save, terrific save. And we got a, that ought to be foul. a blue card. But I guess it's a minor foul. But uh, just follow the second half against either side. Well, a nice restart opportunity here. Don't have Novi on. Normally he's out there calling the shots in these situations. Selenopolis will trigger. Greenfield. It's on target, but Soderman blocked it. Stewart power header. Dangerous back. Samson scores. A mistake by the Storm. And Detroit's on the scoreboard. Well, it was great reaction by Samson. He, he could have said, damn, I've missed that header. He hit it under the bar. It came back, and he stooped down and just put it in the back of the net, and that changes the momentum of this game entirely. That's from Mark Momen Rugge with two first-quarter goals tonight. A target and a score. I think that's a three. Yes, it is. Three-point goal for Mark Oogie. He has the hat trick, and Chicago's up by seven. What a shot by Mark Oogie. Absolutely terrific finish. Right foot shot just rising from the moment he struck it and just right under the bar. Very difficult for Sinaldo. Flailed to his left but couldn't pull it in. Well, so much for momentum. If you're a Detroit Ignition fan as Mark Oogie takes it right back for Chicago. Farias for Salonopoulos score. Great ball by Chile Farias with his off foot to Kit Selenopoulos, who had a good finish. 9-4. Detroit back within five. Jim Larkin got the win last night for the Storm against Baltimore. Here's a run out. Rosenband gets it back open net score. Andy Rosenband as Chicago has been there to answer each of Detroit's attempts to get back in the ball game so far today. Oh, it's a wonderfully worked goal. Detroit were caught short-handed. They were really on offense. They were caught short-handed. And Chicago just for Fabinho. Meantime, Jonathan Greenfield trying to get a little breakaway. Greenfield for Sampson. Score! A beautiful indoor soccer goal. Greenfield to Sampson. Absolutely lovely work by Jonathan Greenfield. We've said on a couple of occasions earlier this season that he, he deserved more than one point for his assist. And he did there. It was a run around the boards. He knew he had the beating of his man. Just kept going, hustled, arm pump, and then just a wonderful cross to finish it off right into the path of Samson, who just finishes it the way it's supposed to be finished. 
So Sampson from Greenfield at 134 of the fourth quarter for Wartos Sampson, his second goal of the game. His fourth of the goal of the night. You give Mark Uge a point blank shot, he will bury it more times than not. And Mark Uge has destroyed Detroit today. Nine points for the 